Good morning, everyone. Well, it's been a fun week so far. Got another day's worth of work in. Going to go visit my son tomorrow, so pray for a good meeting. Continue to pray for him. He's making progress. Just like to see it faster. <laughs> God, I want patience, and I want it now. So today, I think I'm just going to keep this kind of short. Uh, today and tomorrow, I think we're going to do just a couple of short videos. And I'm going to be just, today I'm going to read out of Psalms. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet. Psalms were written for encouragement. These are songs to be sung. Some of them you've probably sung. There's a bunch of them in here. Songs and Proverbs kind of go into the wise guy sayings. Some are comforting. Some are showing the struggles that people went through. They're not all written by Solomon. Many of them are, but not all. They're a collection of things that were brought together. So, I'm going to start reading Psalm 1-1. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or set foot on the path of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. Come on, light. There we go. I need to get closer to my camera so I can be lit up better. Okay, there we go. Psalm 1-2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Do you read day and night? You need to. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, yielding its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, because the weather's good. Tomorrow when I go to my storage unit, I'm going to get my other lights. They're big LED panels that I can put in here that will... i got to counteract all that God-given light behind me. And the camera wants to focus on that. Let's see if I can... It to come over there. Well, let's see if that works. Okay. Not so the wicked, for they are like the chaff driven off by the wind. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in assembly of the righteous. For the Lord guards the path of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Wake up, people, if you're not a Christian. There's only one way. This kind of applies to today. Why do nations rage and peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against the Lord and against his anointed one. The World Economic Forum, Forum had a meeting today to discuss how they could use AI to take over the world. Why is it doing that? It is acting weird. Okay. Don't fade in and out on me. It's still doing it. I wonder if I can get this thing any closer. Put it in my lap. I've got a light right above the camera. I can't see it flickering, but it's acting like it is. All right, that looks a little bit better. The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together against the Lord and against the anointed one. Let us break their chains and cast away their cords. The one enthroned in heaven laughs, and the Lord taunts them. Then he rebukes them with his anger 
and terrifies them in his fury. I have installed my, my king on, on Zion, upon my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree spoken to me by the Lord. You are my son today. I have become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations you in, uh, make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with an iron scepter. You shall shatter them like pottery. This is what Jesus is going to do. Therefore, be wise, O kings, be admonished, judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest, his, lest he be angry and you perish in your rebellion. When his wrath ignites in all the instant, blessed are those who take refuge in him. Again, talking about Jesus. Now, this is where, this is the song of David when he fled from his son Absalom. O Lord, how my foes have increased. How many rise up against me. We can apply all this to us just because it's written a long time ago doesn't mean it doesn't apply. Many say to me, God will not deliver you. But you, O Lord, are my shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts my head. God will look after us. To the Lord I cry aloud, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lay down and sleep. I wake up again, for the Lord sustains me. We go day to day. I will not fear the myriad set against me on every side. That sounds like Israel now. Arise, O Lord, save me. O my God, strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. They can't malign you and criticize you if they can't talk. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be on your people. Okay, and the last one I'm going to read today. For the choir master with stringed instruments. A Psalm of David. Answer me when I call, O God, my righteousness. You have relieved my distress, shown me grace, and heard my prayer. How long, O men, will my honor be maligned? How long will you love vanity and seek after lies? It seems like it's endless. Know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself, and the Lord hears when I call him. Be angry, yet do not sin. I talked about that yesterday. On your bed, search your heart and be still. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. Now, we don't have to do daily sacrifices of animals, but you should certainly Sacrifice yourself to Jesus daily. Many ask, who can show us the good? Shine the light in your face. Shine the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have filled my heart with more joy than when grain, with, than when grain and new wine abound. So, you make me more happy than if I've got a great harvest. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you, O Lord. You, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Okay. These are songs that we're reading, but songs that are about a relationship with God. We're not looking for a religion. There's been too many religions in this world, and none of them work properly. Not one of them. All you can do is have a relationship with God through Jesus. And that's it. God will look after you. He'll take care of you. 
We have our other psalm that talks about lying down in green pastures. You're hearing the sounds of nature around me. It's very calming, very peaceful. This is what you need to find sometimes. Find your peace. Find your time where you can hear the Lord. I talked about this before. Ezekiel, when he was fleeing Jezebel and, and everyone, he tried to talk to the God that he knows. He knows how to talk to God, and yet he couldn't find his voice because he wasn't in the wind any storm or anything. It wasn't until he got into the cave and he heard the still small voice of the Lord. God doesn't get excited over this stuff. This is exciting to us, but not to God. Life down here for him is plain, simple. Jesus slept during the storm on a boat. You want to talk to God, get to where you've got nature behind you and it's quiet. And then you can hear what he says. Read the book. The book will talk to you as well. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. You guys have a blessed day. Trust in the Lord. And everything in your life will be perfect. Till we meet in the clouds, God bless.